My name is Alan Smith, and my family and I like to come up to Clyde's Music Barn at least every four or five weeks uh, to enjoy the fellowship and, and to play music. I've got eight children. My 15-year-old son, Corey, plays the guitar. My 12-year-old daughter, Nellie Grace, plays the fiddle. My 10-year-old son, Luke, plays the banjo. And my 9-year-old son, Elijah, plays the mandolin, and I, pl and I play the bass. Clyde's Music Barn is like going back 50 years in Americana. If an anthropologist wanted to study America and North Carolina 50 years ago, this might be one of the only places he could come to get a feel for it. And, and the center of it really is Clyde and his personality, and he holds it all together, uh, putting this thing together on every Tuesday night. And I think it's pretty singular that you have something this well attended for so long a period of time uh, every week. When you walk into the to the front door of Clyde's Music Barn, you see, first of all, he used to be a potter, so you see all the old pottery. He used to be a chicken farmer. You can see his chicken houses out back. He used to do small equipment repair. You can go in one quarter and see all the small equipment still hanging and weed eaters still hanging on the wall. Then you'll see dozens of picnic tables where people sit in the back room, and there's a wood stove that people sit around in the winter and just play, play music together. And there'll usually be two, three, four groups at a time playing together in the summer it'll spill out into the parking lot and if you keep going you'll come across a buffet table that everybody brings a covered dish everybody's entitled to one free drink out of the refrigerator if you keep going you'll finally get in the music room where the air conditioning and the heat is and there you'll see a live band on stage and it'll hold about 200 people and on the right you'll see uh, of course the wooden floor where, where the closets are so in, in a nutshell that's fine Gospel and bluegrass is heritage music. It brings generations together. It doesn't separate them. And that's my definition of good music. This is a very welcoming, safe place where, where, the, uh, where the people embrace uh, family values and where my children are encouraged and nurtured. And my children are also able to minister and nurture those older people right back. So there's a love going both ways. I don't want to sound cheesy, but it's true.